What's up everybody? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna uh we're just gonna we're gonna do some fishing. Okay. I got this uh this new ultralight set up and use it for a little bit, had it for a little bit. So I uh, figure we're gonna haven't caught nothing on it yet, but it's so I don't know how it handles anything and hopefully today out here at St. Louis Ponds we're gonna find some panfish you know ultralight that's what I'm fishing here ultralight so let's get to it and see what happens what's up everybody welcome back to the garage right um, today was a day let's put it that way and it's not even over it's like it's like literally uh almost 10 a.m i started this day early with you guys and uh i didn't realize after i got my chest rig on and everything for my camera and hit record that my battery was dead so you guys didn't see anything that happened that i thought you were gonna see and uh yeah so we're gonna crack open this v8 juice that's right v8 juice because i don't want to be walking sideways or anything and uh we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit we're gonna talk a little bit uh, all right guys i don't uh, i don't know how many people know how many people don't know i have been ultralight fishing for years okay light ultralight fishing is a huge thing over here in the pacific northwest um trout fishing that's pretty much all almost all done on light poles um and ultralight poles honestly especially backpacking and stuff up into the wilderness a lot of people are packing ultralight poles because well ultralight right small rigs uh, way to go and so i'm back you know i've been doing a lot of ultralight fishing this year and i just have a blast doing it you know catching trophy trout uh smallmouth bass bluegill sunfish different kinds of sunfish crappie uh, all sorts of fish right panfish um this is a shakespeare micro ultralight i've had it for uh roughly between 15 and 18 years i can't quite remember bought the pole now if you want this exact pole it's a graphite pole this is the four foot eight i believe and i got it that small so it'd be easy to travel it is a one piece rod um i think you can get that for 20 bucks right 20 bucks and it's nothing fancy by any means but 20 bucks for 15 to 18 years of fishing i i showed a picture on instagram i'll try to pop it up here if i can figure out how to edit it in the video but i caught uh, just recently this year during my birthday i caught a two pound almost two pound smallmouth bass on that rod no problem i've caught tons and tons of trout smallmouth bass I mean tons of fish on that rod right but I'm I'm really I'm also a gear guy I've always been a gear guy whether it's get into my cameras um, my tools my uh, my passions like knife collecting and and other things right I've always been a gearhead in a sense and so I see ultralight is really starting to the last few years is really getting bigger and bigger right but it's spawned over in japan bfs right which i plan on giving that a shot but over here we have tons of largemouth bass we're not known for largemouth bass right here in the state of oregon i would say we're probably more known for steelhead salmon fishing um Columbia River is probably most known for sturgeons and, you know, 
being able to catch billion pike minnows and sell them because they're bad. Uh, all sorts of stuff, right? We're known for our rivers and, and, and ocean fishing and stuff like that. But uh, we're, I don't think people realize we have a huge largemouth bass population here. And several ponds, lakes, creeks, they, they're everywhere, right? And I've just never been a huge largemouth bass fishing guy until recently. I'm really interested in it. I feel like I've been missing out all these years, so I am going to get a, a setup for largemouth bass. But that's not what this is about. What this is about is ultralights. I'm addicted to ultralight fishing. I love ultralight fishing. It's fun because even if you catch a tiny little bluegill, it's still fun, right? So during Prime Day this year, I've seen a sale, and I couldn't resist. It was from a company called Handing. And it was on their M1 reels. We're down to 15 bucks. So I bought two, right? And with that, I, I went ahead and purchased a Handing M1 Ultralight 5.6 pole, right? Because I thought, one, it look, looks awesome. And when I looked at the reviews, which we're going to get to that because they should have paid a little more attention but most of them seemed positive, right? I did see there was some bad reviews. And the part that I should have paid attention to was the problem with Amazon when you're looking at Amazon is even though I was looking at a 5.6 ultralight, this ultralight right here, which which is an amazing looking rod, right? Um, when I was looking at that, I, uh, the positive reviews, I was just I just glanced over them and I didn't look at the whole thing as they make more than and they make this pole in the five six ultralight. But they also make it in a light, in a medium, in a heavy, and I didn't pay attention next to the reviews. It was saying on each review it says what they're reviewing on. And all the positive reviews for the most part we're on medium, heavy, and heavy. Uh, maybe two on light, moderate, fast. This is supposed to be an ultralight, moderate, fast. They didn't have a fast, which if they would have, that, that would have been the way I went. Um, here's the deal, man. I was like, all right, I'm going to test it. I'm, I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to test it against the Shakespeare because I bought it. It was 20 bucks on Prime Day, right? It's no longer that. Selling right now for 40, that's 20%, and it's normally 50. $50 for this rod. And and I'm gonna I'll show you I'll show you guys that right here, right? I'll show you the price somewhere here. I'll show you a screenshot of the price, just the the five six and, and the comment. Right? But this is what happened to me today. I started my video with you guys, and then I hooked up my chest rig, and I pressed record and didn't realize that the camera battery's dead. So you didn't see anything of me fishing. But I took this pole out to uh, St. Louis Ponds with me, and out there I had caught right off the right off the go, right? I caught two bluegill as soon as I switched to a... Uh, Trout magnet, just a little trout magnet. It's just a little jig, right? Real small. I think it's one thirty seconds, and it was it was awesome. And then I casted, and I caught into a crappie, and everything changed because that crappie and it wasn't huge by any means. It it, it looked like maybe it was about yay long, but it folded this pole over and I'm like okay but the pole seemed like it was okay I had my drag set I let it run a little bit or drug it in it hooked left folded my pole one more time and bam right there at the eyelet snapped it right off right this is a five six pole just snapped it right off it is a two-piece pole too and the two pieces down here long shank two piece which is one of the things that I liked about it but it's literally just snapped it right there. 
And then, uh, so I tried to fight the fist that way, and of course, because this is serrated on the end, it caught the line, and it's just four pound mono that I'm using, and it just broke the line, and I was left with a broken pole. Now, 20 dollars right i'm not i'm not bent out of shape about 20 dollars but when you compare it to this thing this little thing here uh you get your money out of that poll and you're definitely not getting your money out of this poll so when i went back and looked at reviews i noticed that just about everybody that bought an ultralight version it broke day one or close to day one only the ultralight and it is it is stupid stupid thin i mean like on the inside and it is and it was a it's a super fantastic looking pull i love that the real seat is graphite i love that the real seat nut the way it is i mean most companies don't even go that flare anymore unless it's you know something I really liked the shape of this, even though I don't use it for really anything. It's not going to be very grippy. It's a carbon fiber or a fake carbon fiber. I can't tell. Looks real. Um, the pole looked and felt fantabulous. It was super light. The pole is balanced. The, the reel, this is a little handing M1 500. And it's done outstanding so far for the amount of use I've used. But it's definitely heavy and it makes this way kind of unbalanced. But it is pretty awesome. Now, normally in the ultralight arena, like I like a thousand, right? And when I went to buy these, they were on sale at 15 bucks. They're normally 25. And they start at the size 500. So I went 500 ultralight because they don't make a thousand. It goes 500, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000 weird right no 1000 but so i bought the 500 to go on it. it it's been fantabulous honestly not a problem with the reel so the reel is going to come off the pole obviously is going to go in the trash um now i would say normally i would say i'm not gonna i'm not mad about it at all well because i'm not mad about it at all but you know my pole could have had a defect in it. Could have been it. Not every pole or everything that comes off of any kind of assembly is going to be perfect every time, right? So, I, I would chalk it to that. But every, almost every review on the ultralight, ultralight version of this pole, it broke. Like right off the bat. Most of them it broke the tip. Mine didn't break the tip, it, bro it broke back here, right, which is moderate fast, so it bends up to about the fourth or fifth eye, so I don't even know, you know, like, it, it folded over and it just snapped. Um, and I, like I said, the Shakespeare, I've, I've had two pound smallmouth bass on this, and it's, and it survived, doesn't have any cracks, it's, it's been a good pole, you know. It's not fancy by any means. It doesn't have the best cork. It's got stainless steel guides. I mean, this had Fuji guides on it. And they are, they do have the insert. They're very nice. I mean, the whole pole looked and felt fantabulous. But it, that fish wasn't even close to a pound, guaranteed. And it, and it snapped that pole, right? But, I, I, like I said, I've been on this ultralight kick, and I wanted to kind of test them. I do have some more. I mean, I, I, I bought this one on Prime Day, and then I was like, you know, I want to throw it against a couple, not just the Shakespeare. So, this reel is going to come off. It's going to come uh, uh, get put on another ultralight that I'm going to test, and we're going to see. I got, a, I got an ultralight from Timu to go against this. Um, I picked up this ultralight off Amazon, the M1. I picked up an ultralight off of Timu to pair against it. I also picked up another ultralight off of AliExpress 
to pair against this and the other one. And I actually ended up picking up two off of Amazon. The M1 and a, another, I believe, Chinese brand. Um, just just to try them to see if, if they're good. They're all budgety, right? Because as much as I love owning a high-end pole, which probably my most high-end pole right now is not even high-end. <laughs> um, I have a Fenwick somewhere, which is like $139 or something, you know. Uh, but but honestly, right now, my favorite ultralight I own that works best, I have a 7-foot uh, Okuma Salilo that has done amazing. It, it fishes amazing, and I couldn't be happy with, with it, right? And it's like a $30, $35 pole. Um, I'm super impressed with this reel right now. Super impressed with the reel. So I have nothing bad to say about the reel right now. And I'm not really down talking handing and I'm down talking this version. Uh, I won't buy another one, but it sounds like the medium heavies and the heavies are pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to purchase a medium or medium heavy from them at the moment. I, I'm just going to shy away from handing for when it comes to rods for the moment. Okay. Um, I just, am I mad about losing the $20? No, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad that the pole broke. I, I'm, I'm not disappointed, uh, in it because it, it, it was cheap. Now, if I paid full price for it at $50, I would be, oh, I would be unholy talking these guys left and right right fifty dollars right now if i bought it on sale which is sale on for forty dollars i would still be mega mad right mega mega mad no joke um anyway guys i couldn't believe my battery died and i didn't realize it i didn't have my hearing aids in which is probably why because i didn't hear beep at me and tell me it's not going to be alive which sucks because you guys didn't get to see any of it and that's my bad so unfortunately next time I'll make sure that the camera's working we're going to get back at it we might even go out there tonight me and the wife might go out there this evening and get this reel or the other one I bought to um, uh, one of the poles my wife wants it's already got rigged up to try. Uh, so, I'll be making another video about ultralight poles here pretty soon, guys. As I get to rigging one up and throwing this one in the garbage. Anyway, just a quick video for the for the week here. I know I put, put out the, the camping adventure cooking video. Um, I am hoping to obviously get some more videos going i'm going to be filming later this week to try to get my video out for next week which is probably going to be a review video on either the set power fridge or my cook stand for that i use to set up my cook station uh the xco stand that i use for my blackstone um uh, Probably one of those two things. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a fantabulous week, even though it's Tuesday, literal Tuesday, right? And I know it's the beginning of the week, but hey, we can get, oh, maybe it's Wednesday. Never mind, I lied, guys, it's Wednesday. Man, I am not with it right now. I just wanted to stay on vacation. Yeah. I love you guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.